to come up with something so I decided to put some beef and then pork and then hot dog all at the same time so I'm going to cook them for my breakfast as you can see I took put some food coloring and then this frozen pineapple okay and of course this beef is frozen so that white one, they're actually ice because <laughs> it's frozen, but it's going to thaw by itself. Yon. So, nagkagutay gutay na yung ano because a while ago they were frozen, but now they are all separated from each other. And then I had to put some corn as well. So, instead of eating some rice, I'd rather have some corn for breakfast. Yeah. Of course, I need to cover it so it will be cooked uh, beautifully and carefully, yes. Ayun, ox na ox na. Ang aking hot dog, bacon and steak, beef steak and of course with corn. That's for breakfast. Now look what I got. So I have hot dogs, uh, beef, ayon beef steak, and of course bacon. The bacon is good for some gifts, and of course the bacon I had to put some uh, uh, pineapple, parang maging ham, parang ganon ham and then pineapple. It's a great combination, and of course, my favorite corn. Mmm. So let's eat. Mm. So this is the beef. And of course, it's nice to eat with the corn. <clears throat> Instead of cook, uh, eating some rice, I decided to cook with the corn instead. Mmm, I just ate the pineapple. This is the ham. Actually, it's bacon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. vlog ako. Karamitin ko yung pang vlog talaga. At sino ang babalalang ko? <laughs> Hindi pa ako hindi itong si Thinking Pinoy. Siya lang ang he's the only thinking Pinoy who is not thinking properly. <laughs> Siya yung thinking Pinoy na pinaka bobo. <laughs> and you're gonna find out why why I said that. Mmm, <laughs> bobo jacking ko siya. <laughs> um. So, maliban kay mahali ka yun, si Thinking Pinoy naman, who is not thinking, siya naman ang ibubuljak ko. Siya ang susunod. <laughs> Puro sila, mga bobo, mga tanga. Ngayon ako, guys. Kayo ang nagturo sa akin para mahalin si uh, Tatay Digong. Tapos ngayon, you are trying to convince me na I disregard siya. <laughs> okay, para hindi siya mahalin. Ano kayo? Mga gago? Hmm? Kasi hindi nyo kasi naiintindihan. Kasi by that time na 
kinonvince ako na mahalin siya, I really had to make sure na mapag-aralan ko ang kanyang tunay na personality. And then, of course, the way he's thinking. Kaya ikaw thinking, Pinoy, ikaw lang yung tao na you're not using your brain. You think matalino ka, pero you're the person who's not really thinking properly. <laughs> you're thinking, pero the other way. <laughs> yeah, you're just thinking bullshit things. Puro lang kayabangan nyo. Pareho kayo ni, ano, ni Mang Harley kasi palanggana. <laughs> Bakit palanggana? Kasi lagi niyang sinasabi, eh hey, mga palangga. O, oh, yung tawag ko sa kanya, yung palanggana. Kaya <laughs> <laughs> sabihin ba naman na kawawa daw si Tatay Digong, kaya gumagawa-gawa na lang daw ng ano, ng istorya para daw masira daw si BBM. <laughs> You will never feel sorry to Tate Digong because he knows exactly what he's doing, okay? He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He knows definitely about his acts and about his way of thinking. Kaya yung totoong thinking, hindi itong si thinking Pinoy na talagang napakabobo. Napakasanga! Ah! Kaya ikaw, thinking Pinoy, sa akin ka makinig. <laughs> And then you might start thinking properly. Because as of now, yung mind mo, wala ka sa utak eh. Huh? You're not thinking properly at this point. Because you know, what's the idea of doing all this? Huwag na nga magpasosyal. Ang gusto mong kumain, magkamay-kamay na lang. Eat the Filipino, eh. Kung gaba. Mm -hmm. Kayo mo nagsasabi na panalong-panalo na daw si BBM. Well, that's what you think. <laughs> Ha? Nakaplano na, mawawala na siya sa eksena. Antayin nyo na lang. Papanig ba doon si Sarah Duterte kung alam niya na hindi mananahimik later on si BBM? Of course not. Pumupunta lang because of the fact that BBM ang hot ngayon. So, uh, dahil yun din ang gusto ng mga tao, so pagbibigyan ng mga tao, ba diba? Natural, sila yung butante. So, pagbibigyan niya yung mga nag-as na BBM Sarah. Mm. But later on, pag na-disqualify itong si Bongbong Marcos, babalik din siya sa ama, babalik din siya kay, siya kay Bongo. ba? Diba? What is family for? <laughs> Tama si Bongo. Politics is so dirty. You would do everything. ba? Diba? Uh, diba ganun yun? Hindi yung porke sinabi na yun na, ano, na walang ibang... Walang ibang uh, ano magiging presidente later kundi ni Marcos din yak. Well, isang Marcos, you know. Well, we're talking about the the dead Marcos, yeah. Kung meron pang isang ganun mismo exactly the same ganun, yeah, of course. Yun ang ibig sabihin ni Tatay ni Gong. He didn't say na si BBM mismo ang papalit. He didn't say na siya mismo ang dapat ipalit. You know, it takes it takes one Marcos, you know, to be able to make, to make the Philippines successful o oh, diva. It takes one Marcos. Nag-iisa lang ang Marcos na tinutukoy niya. Walang iba kundi si President, ex-President Romualdez. Ay, ano? Uh, Ferdinand Edraline Marcos. <laughs> Romualdez. Eh, ano palang Romualdez? Asawa niya. Hmm? And not even, not even Imelda Marcos. Oh, di ba? And he's right. He's, he's so weak. Otherwise, I could have, I could have been the one pushing him but I never did did I say hey BBM tayo ha did I no I was just saying I'm not against BBM but as far as I'm concerned in terms of a leader I would not choose him ever <laughs>